Yo lo guys, so this is Omkar Adate, you are watching Exploring Insanity, Exploring the Insane Way, The Gear Show. And as the name suggests, in this segment, we will be talking about a lot of travel, travel gears and tips. So, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, do subscribe and stay updated. By the way, this video is also available in Hindi and Marathi. And we also have a podcast in English and the link to which is given in the description below. Now, let's explore. So, today we will be talking about backpacks. A backpack is your close companion in all your adventures. And therefore, choosing the right backpack is a must. Ideally speaking, choosing a backpack depends upon your adventures, your travel plans, which could be a one-day trek, a weekend outing, or longer camping expeditions. But before that, there are some technical things that we seldom or never know, but should be considered and which will help us in choosing the perfect backpack according to our needs. First, torso length and right fit. Just like t-shirts, backpacks also comes in different sizes to fit our body type. And for knowing this, your torso length is important. So let's find it out. To determine the perfect fit for you, you will need a measuring tape and maybe a friend. So now reach back of your neck, bend your head forward and you will prominently feel a bone that sticks out the most on your upper spine. It is the 7th cervical vertebrae, C7 or C7 vertebrae. Now put your hands comfortably on your hips and you will feel the top of your hip bone. Move your fingers slowly towards your spine. Now ask someone to measure this distance between your hip shelf and C7 vertebrae. This will give you the torso length. Once you know your torso length, you can use this chart to find out the right size which I have also uploaded on my Instagram page and the post link is given in the description below. So if your torso length is below 40 centimeters you should go for extra small bag if it's between 41 to 45 centimeters go for small size bags and if it's between 46 to 50 centimeters go for a medium or regular size backpacks and if it's more than 50 centimeters go for large size or taller backpacks this concept is much developed in the western countries and few companies in India are providing such specification. So an ideal hack around this is check the distance from the top of the shoulder strap to the middle of the vest belt and this distance needs to accommodate your torso length. For example, my torso length is 45 centimeters. And talking about this backpack, the distance between the top of the shoulder strap to the middle of the vest belt is 44 centimeters. So this backpack is actually good for me. And just to avoid confusion, torso length is not as same as the height. A tall person can have a short torso while a smaller person can have a relatively long torso. So that should not be confused. And there are backpacks coming with adjustable suspensions to accommodate different torso lengths as well. They do have their own benefits. But if you are buying a backpack only for yourself, I would personally recommend a fixed length bag because it will be bit tedious and difficult to adjust the length each time. And if you don't adjust it correctly, your other fits about which we will be talking soon may also not work. So before going forward, this video is in collaboration with Aldo's Adventure. They are the exclusive and authorized dealers of all top adventure brand products up in Mumbai beyond Thane region and they are located in Dopuri. And the best part, you can get an exclusive discount up to 20% across their product by simply referring Exploring Insanity at their stores, the location link to which is given in the description below. And yes, they also offer Pan India delivery, so do check them out. So, once the size of the backpack is determined, the next things that you need to check for is the straps. They are very important for the right fit and are actually made to make our journey comfortable. And here's how. 
So, there are four primary adjustment straps. First, hip belt. Second, shoulder straps. Third, load fitter strap. Fourth, sternum strap. Every time we should start from slightly loosening all the adjustment straps. Now, putting on your backpack. First, we will be adjusting the hip belt such that it is right over our hip bone and not on the waist. After that, we will tighten the hip belt so that it is a good snug fit but not too tight as well. The reason being our legs have some of the strongest muscles in our body and thus the bags are designed so that the majority of the load rests on your hips. The primary function of the hip is to support the weight of your body in both static that is standing and dynamic that is walking or running postures. Secondly, we should adjust the shoulder straps so that it is tight and comfortable enough. There should be a very little space in between your bag and backside of your shoulders. After that, we will be adjusting the load fitter straps. Ideally, they should form a 45 degree angle with the bag and this strap helps to lean the back towards or away from us, thus to relieve our shoulders from some of the weight of the backpack by bringing the back forward to bring the center of the mass inward. And at last, we will be adjusting the sternum strap so that the bag remains steady. Its main purpose is to prevent the shoulder straps from sliding off your arms when moving around and to tuck them inwards a bit so your arms can move freely. On a treks and travels, we should keep adjusting these straps, mostly the hip and the shoulder strap, to adjust the weight alternatively as per our comfort. Men and women's backpacks. In case of men and women's backpacks, inter alia, the major difference is with the straps. For men, the shoulder straps are a bit closer and for women, it's little outward naturally to accommodate their body type. In case of hip belts, for men it will be bit flatter and for women it will be little curved. So this was a basic video for choosing the right backpack. We will be talking more about backpacks in the coming videos. So do let me know in the comment section below what do you think about this series and which product you want me to review next. Do share this video with your friends as it will inspire me to do better. Until then, Insanians, keep exploring. Take care. Bye.